Welcome to another exciting video from Fidance Technologies. In this video, we'll unravel the process behind crafting a robust on-premise Kubernetes cluster on bare metal devices. Our setup contains with high availability nodes, persistent storage, well-managed networking, and the added perk of cluster autoscaling capabilities. You can also explore our attached article for a comprehensive understanding of the implementation. Let's dive into the details together. What is Kubernetes? Let's begin with the fundamentals. Kubernetes, commonly known as k 8 serves as a dynamic container orchestration system, simplifying the configuration, deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. Why use Kubernetes? Scalability. High availability. Self-healing. Easy deployment. Portable across cloud providers. Security. Benefits of Kubernetes on cloud. Ease of implementation. Resource efficiency. Auto management. Scalability. Reduced initial cost. Easy availability due to regional node distribution. Get a deeper insight into these aspects by reading the full article. When does Kubernetes on cloud won't be the best solution? Kubernetes on-premises becomes a preferred solution when reducing latency by eliminating network overhead, minimizing data movement and storage costs, optimizing performance with dedicated resources, and avoiding potential overtime expenses are priorities. Moreover, stringent data security requirements favor on-premises deployment, offering a more customized and efficient solution compared to Kubernetes in the cloud. Kubernetes on-premise. Kubernetes on-premises provides us with comprehensive control over our hardware, allowing for a high degree of customization. With data stored securely within our organization's premises, we ensure robust data security, dedicated resource allocation, and the removal of the hypervisor layer contribute to better performance. Moreover, on-premises deployment proves cost-efficient as it avoids recurrent payments for the same resources, contributing to long-term financial savings. What are the challenges with Kubernetes on-premise? With on-premise deployment, there's a need for constant infrastructure management. It also requires cluster auto-scaling. We must ensure highly available and replicated persistent storage. The control plane, ETCD, and other components also require high availability. Monitoring the cluster components becomes a crucial task. Additionally, we need to establish secure networking. Let's compare Kubernetes on cloud with Kubernetes on premise and see how each option shapes up for your needs. Kubernetes on premise offers high network, storage, and CPU performance depending on your setup. It's independent of cloud providers, offering you flexibility. Kubernetes on cloud provides relative performance in terms of network, storage, and CPU, while it incurs higher costs for running heavier workloads. The automated process of deploying and configuring software, or a software stack, is called deployment orchestration, and it is done by an orchestration engine. As you can see, the orchestration engine is connected to the hardware provisioner, and the hardware provisioner is connected to the bare metal devices, typically through cloud in it. Whenever the orchestration engine needs a new machine for a software deployment, it will check if there are any OS deployment ready bare metal devices connected to the hardware provisioner. This is done by the data that the hardware provider provides, not the bare metal device. Then the orchestration engine will select compatible bare metal devices depending on the required memory, CPU, disk space, or provided tags. After selecting bare metal devices, the orchestration engine will request a hardware provisioner to trigger OS deployment on the selected machines with a certain OS or the default OS, and the orchestration engine will wait for the OS deployment to be completed. After the OS deployment is complete, the orchestration engine will install the required software on the selected bare metal devices through SSH tunnels. Software Stack for Kubernetes Deployment and Configuration Moz Hardware Provisioning Juju Kubernetes Deployment and Configuration Metal LB Load Balancing Ceph Persistent Storage Deploy Kubernetes on a provisioned bare metal server 
Juju provides a single Juju charm bundle which contains all the components required for setting up a Kubernetes cluster. Persistent storage for Kubernetes cluster. Ceph is used as an external storage provisioner, deployed and configured using Juju. The Ceph clustering solution achieves high availability by deploying multiple replicas within storage pools distributed across separate infrastructure components. As you can see, Ceph has already created two storage classes in Kubernetes cluster. Let's go ahead and create deploy this PVC. So a PV has been created and bounded to our PVC. Autoscaling for Kubernetes cluster. Charmed Kubernetes Autocaller is used for autoscaling. We're going to deploy this engine X deployment with five replicas and three GB memory allocation. First, let's see the current status of the autoscaler. As you can see, there are no activities in the autoscaler for now. Now, let's deploy the engine X deployment so it seems the scale-up activity changed to in progress now, and as there are two Kubernetes worker units getting deployed. This would take some time to finish provision and deploy. The two Kubernetes worker units deployed successfully. Let's see our deployment. It deployed correctly, and now five pods are in running state. Configure outbound networking for Kubernetes cluster. Metal LB is used for configuring a load balancer. Let's deploy an Engine X container and expose it using an IP from the Metal LB IP range. All right, now it's accessible from outside of our internal network. Configuring cluster security. Cluster can be accessed through the user details provided in the Kubernetes config file. Using RBAC protocols, we can limit permissions for certain users. How we provisioned our hardware. Hardware provisioning is the process of setting up and configuring hardware to a certain deployment stage. We used Moz as the hardware provisioner. Moz is provided by Canonical. Thank you for watching. Keep in mind that this isn't an alternative to Kubernetes on clouds, but rather an advanced path for specific needs. For more exciting tech insights and hands-on experiences, check out how we created a relational and non-relational data synchronization app using Kafka. Also, don't miss the process we followed to build a self-navigation system using reinforcement learning. Find the links in the description below and stay tuned to Fidens for more cutting-edge solutions and innovations. Happy exploring!